Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you are joining me on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark for a look at some of the absolutely beautiful footage that I've collected Well, Abel's Ark has been in the marina here at Ellesmere and admittedly I haven't been in the marina that much in, well certainly not in one go, I've been in and out and all over the place on the canal and what have you and the marina's acted as what I thought it would act as a good sort of place to almost leave the boat so for example over the summer months when I was out and about uh, looking after the pets when for example when my dad went away for a week and he lives uh, just just over into Wales so I went to stop there while he was away to look after the rabbit and the cat and uh, the fish I don't don't forget the fish I didn't forget the fish I promise if you're watching dad the important thing is, like I say, it's just somewhere that it was good while I was away for a week to know that the boat was somewhere safe. And similarly, while I was doing up the boat when I'd first bought Abel's Ark, it was good to be able to have somewhere that I could fetch furniture in and out and off and on the boat and stuff like that. So anyway, as we look at some absolutely beautiful footage, let's just have a chat and have a, a look at some lovely things and talk about my experience over the last few months. So, as I mentioned, obviously, when I was setting up the boat as a home after I'd first bought Abel's Ark, it made sense to have a marina mooring to make it far easier, not trying to drag three-piece suites down a towpath and things like that. And what you just saw then was a hose pipe coming up, filling up the front water tank of the Ark here. And that's one of the other benefits of a marina mooring, that you've got somewhere that you can go to where you've got things like water, toilet emptying facilities, uh, gas bottles, coal, uh, all of the sorts of things that you might want uh, to stock your boat up with, along with an electric hookup point as well. So it made sense to uh, sort of ease myself back into boat life with this sort of boat life light. Anyway, just listen to how quiet it is as well. Despite all these boats everywhere, you can see in the evening it's just absolutely beautiful peace. Well, it'd be foolish for me to try and add anything to this video clip, so I'm just going to start this point in the video as my, my jumping off to talk about random topics. So, as you see in this amazing sunset, I suppose that the, the biggest surprise about being in the marina was not only the silence and the peace that the place adds, despite the fact there's so many boats around, but also when I first uh, was in the marina and moving on, I thought that there were a lot of boats around that never moved and that were just sat there and hadn't been seen to for a long time because you'd see like cobwebs on them and stuff like that. And well, I then would look quite foolish after saying, oh yeah, this boat's next to here, this boat's there, and then turn up with my friends and family only to see that those boats had disappeared, some of them to never return and others maybe to go out for six weeks and to be in and out, in and out. In fact, I'd say one of the most regular visitors was this heron that could be many different herons, but I like to think that it's just the same, same fellow coming back to visit. I quite like this clip where I was just trying to do a normal panorama shot, uh, doing a close-up of the boat and stuff, and then suddenly we're interrupted by the heron yet again. But of course, the biggest uh, surprise in the marina that I should have really mentioned, should have started with, was the fact that there's this turtle that just seems to uh, turn up and I think I've, I haven't seen him for a while but like I say I haven't been in the marina sort of constantly checking or anything but this the first time I saw it I literally walked past it because I assume it must have been a fake one that someone had put there as a joke or something but true enough he would turn up and disappear at will particularly over the summer months and in the bright sunlight I'll say that though again back to the heron and uh, yeah, it's another thing that just being by the water and being in this, well, I suppose a marina is literally just a giant pond when you consider how the wildlife use it. There's certainly plenty of big fish around in different marinas. Uh, this is a clip here when I uh, was still waiting for my oven to be fitted, so I just had a little camping stove. The, our next door neighbour there, the duck. Another little ducky here. I actually haven't got that many clips of ducks, considering that they're obviously by far the most frequent visitors in the greatest numbers on the canal and in the marina. 
Oh, here's just a, a cat wandering around just outside the marina here. Now, what on earth could this fellow be looking for? Well, on that very same stretch of road, a little bit later, I found uh, this little chap running around. So, yeah, I think that's a uh, case closed there. One of the things that I've been doing with my friend in recent times is cutting up a load of wood that he's been cutting down in his garden in the last couple of months. So it's been all sorts of fun and games going out to the boat and then coming back to Osrestry and then going back out to the boat again with a bag full of wood. And as you can see, we're slowly getting through the pile here. We've got kindling sticks, uh, proper logs, but just listen to how fantastic it is when it's being burnt. Ooh, I can practically feel the heat beaming off the screen as I was watching that. So, as I say, um, I'll probably be coming out of the marina for at least a few months, maybe even by the time this video goes live. And it's going to be strange to just be out and about properly and rootless again, as I'm much more of a roamer on the canal than a stay putter. And it's just strange really, especially looking at some of these clips now just of the surrounding areas in Ellesmere itself where the marina, again, from this point right next to the church, it's probably a five minute walk if that to the, well, to the boat, never mind to the marina. And you can see this is a, a great moment of getting to go up into the church tower. And this really gives you a good indication now of what Ellesmere is like in terms of a small rural town. I mean... There's not too many houses, and my goodness me, there's an awful lot of greenery. And here is the Mere of Ellesmere itself. Again, just an absolutely beautiful feature. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that there's one right, a uh, lake like this, right on the edge of the canal, a little bit further up from the marina, called Blake Mere. And it's just fantastic to have all of this sort of stuff on the doorstep so when I'd be going back to the marina I sort of considered it as going back for to spend maybe a week or two in this sort of environment to go and run around and have a play in and because it's all so near like again probably from this point on the far side of the mere that was the church tower that I was at the top of a moment ago you just saw then I would say you're talking maybe 20-25 minutes walk if that and of course you're seeing all of this amazing scenery, so that's what makes the marina at Ellesmere such a, such a good place to stop for a short while now and again. Because you're just surrounded by all of these random curiosities to go and have a good old nose at. And I think the Ellesmere Basin here with the sunset light hitting the buildings on the far side is just absolutely beautiful. This is the, the dead end here. Anyway, uh, you're right to see a little clip from me cycling back one night and uh, I've got many, many of these clips at all hours of the night. Okay then my friends, we're almost at the top of the brow. If we zoom in, you can see the time is about 20 past 10, give or take. And there are many people who think that I must be mad to cycle out from town where I work, where there are quite literally three houses, maybe four if I'm a lucky boy, that I can spend the night and instead decide to bike about eight and a half miles just over back out to the marina at Ellesmere and then bike obviously at 7am tomorrow morning back in for work but it's all part of the fun. I did go on to buy myself this lovely new bike which really did help cut down some of the uh, efforts and stress of all of these bike rides. Uh, I've got to say it's unbelievable how much time it cut off my commutes but of course there's always the, uh, the easiest option. You see in the view from the top of a double decker bus going between Ellesmere and Oswestry now and there uh, you'll see as we pass Whittington Castle just uh, how many insects have been claimed uh, victim by this windscreen over the summer months. But yeah, what a lovely place. Anyway, let's listen to some rain.
At this point, I think I'll draw this video to a close and simply say thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed your time in the marina here. Please do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that YouTube will actually tell you, hopefully, when I post a new Boat Life video. And please do check out all of my other previous Boat Life videos. If you're really curious and would like to help me out, please do consider checking out my short books about Boat Life. You'll find them available for the Kindle and as a paperback over at narrowboatbooks.com. That'll take you straight to my Amazon page. And well, the books really do directly fund creating these videos. So please do consider checking those out. And well, until the next time, I'll just say there's loads of links to me all over the internet in the description below. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it interesting. Keep it boat worthy. And of course, my friends, farewell.